A judge called it a stupid move, and now there are new restrictions put on the Connecticut man accused of killing his estranged wife. Good evening. I'm Christine Johnson. I'm Maurice Dubois. Welcome back to CBS 2 News. Now streaming on CBSN New York, Fotis Dulos now on strict house arrest for what he did to a memorial to Jennifer Dulos. CBS 2's Tony Aiello has more now from Stanford. Accused killer Fotis Dulos tampered with this memorial near his home, and now he will pay. It's a setback for the developer who is flat broke and sorely needs to sell one of his multi million dollar spec homes. He's a real estate developer, and the sale of one home will write a faltering financial ship for him. Norm Pattis confirmed Dulos removed the memorial to Jennifer Farber Dulos on January 17. This letter from the company monitoring Dulos's movements says it happened during an unauthorized stop that lasted three minutes. Pattis showed Judge Gary White posts from a Facebook discussion group called Where is Jennifer Dulos? One poster in the group saying she hoped the memorial haunted Dulos. These aren't, this isn't a memorial to Jennifer. It's a means of taunting Mr. Dulos. Uh, Mr. Dulos is presumed innocent. I would like you to remove that work condition, Your Honor. State's attorney Richard Colangelo had no trouble convincing Judge White to punish Dulos by yanking the work conditions from his bail. Now Dulos can only leave home for doctor and lawyer appointments or worship services. Pattis admitted after court, strict house arrest will hurt. So yes, I am worried about it. This is a bad day for us. And it could get worse. If Dulos commits another violation of the terms of his release, the judge said he would likely reset the bond doubling it from $6 million to $12 million. At the courthouse in Stamford, Connecticut, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. Prosecution believes Dulos killed his estranged wife and hid her body, perhaps in a pre-prepared grave. The defense says that it is aiming for a trial in September.